Hi, everybody. Today is Thursday, September 2nd, 2021. My name is Michael Zornick, uh, and this is a video supplemental to a blog post uh, I'm working on, which will do a little update to the Retro Taxi project, which is part of Elixir Focus. Uh, this is basically a Phoenix Live View application that will help people run a retrospective meeting uh, within a team so people can kind of explore things they want to start doing or stop doing or continue to do. Um, it's all about a pattern of like iterative um, improvement. Um, but yeah, so I kicked this project off a couple months ago and it's been a little bit slow just because I had some contract uh, requirements um, for work and then I took some vacation time, but I'm working on it again and I've made a little bit of progress and so I kind of want to share what was going on. So um, the first things first, if you're new to this, uh, project, you can check out <coughs> the uh, GitHub repo um, at Elixir Focus Retro Taxi. Uh, within there, you can see the original um, pitch document, which kind of talks about like the MVP and what we're kind of shooting for. And then um, there's a blog post, which kind of goes over that uh, with a couple extra screenshots. Um, so I'll show you what's working first, and then uh, we can talk a lot about, about, about it. So if you go to the, the homepage, you get a form to create a board. Um, this UI is very scaffold, uh, just to demonstrate behavior. So I imagine the future would be jazzed up a lot. But uh, for now, you can say, I want to create a board name, uh, one demo. And my name is Mike Zornick, capital Z. Uh, and then I will hit create board. Uh, so it's going to fail. <laughs> I expect the user to be found on. So this is part of the um, uh, the uh, cookie experience because I'm doing this locally. I reset the database before the demo and I didn't clear my cookies. So let's do that. Let's clear cookies and we'll try this one more time. But I'm going to leave that in because that's, uh, that's how we roll around here. So, okay, so we got the create board. Uh, if you hit create board and you don't fill anything and you get some validation errors, we'll talk more about that in a future blog post. Um, but we'll try this one more time. One demo. Mike Zornick, and we'll hit create board. And then this will take us to the board. So we see the, the name of the board up here. We see the uh, facilitator, which is Mike Zornick, which is me, up there. Um, the idea is that like over time, that area will be kind of like the who's here list and how many votes are remaining and things of that nature. And then we've got our columns. So we've got uh, some columns so we can add cards here. Uh, we can edit cards. So we can say edit here and that'll work. Uh, we can also delete cards. Now the, um, actually, I don't know if that, that actually, uh, that delete, all right, there it goes. Um, <laughs> uh, uh, yeah, so um, this is all still in progress. So, I mean, this isn't like a final demo by any means, but I am making progress on things. Um, this is using Tailwind. Uh, to kind of lay it out, uh, by no means do I consider this like the final visual language or anything. Um, but it's coming along. Um, if, uh, yeah, so like the hope is, is that as this uh, project progresses, I can kind of uh, extract concepts that uh, are in it and write up some blog posts. So hopefully you'll see that in the next couple, uh, couple of days. Um, but yeah, if you have any questions or comments or feedback, let me know. Um, thanks a lot for watching. Uh, have a nice day. Bye-bye.